Okay, here's my six foot long bathtub. And uh, there's the water that I've collected taking about a maybe almost ten minute shower. Now we take a bucket and we pour the water into a 77 liter garbage pail and uh, it's uh, about half full so maybe we have say 40 liters, 35, 40 liters. So that's three and a half or four liters a minute of water from the shower. A water conserving shower nozzle is considered to be one that uses nine liters per minute. So now I'm going to share with you the secret of how I had a 10 minute shower with a good hard spray using less than half the water anybody else uses. And that secret is that in 1982 or so I bought a set of faucets, bathtub faucets uh, with the plug and whatever, all the stuff, and most of it was nothing to write home about, but the shower nozzle is unique. It's absolutely unique. It's called, if I remember right, it's called the Waltec 10C. And uh, the way it works is the water comes out from the center, sprays out sideways, and comes out a bunch of grooves, triangular grooves. Uh, that aim it to the front and they're all aimed a little differently so the water doesn't come out in just a ring. And uh, 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 let's see, we'll take the lip off it here. Now I hope that this is visible here, um, but you get a, a view of how the water just comes out from a, quite a small opening in the middle and goes out all these tiny grooves that spread out and go around to the outside. And uh, I know that you can get a spray, not not a huge spray, but a, you can get a good sh decent shower spray with uh, less than three liters of water a minute. That's less than one third of what a regular so-called water uh, conserving shower nozzle uses don't know how close we can get here and actually see much of anything uh, but that, that's it and uh, the little ring in the center of course you can adjust it and you can get all the heavy sprays with tons of water that you want as well and uh, an innovation that I put in was a little rubber ring on here that you can, if you turn it on and, and you can actually just squeeze it a little bit against the uh, against the uh, grooves and uh, get the absolute minimum usage of water for a shower. So here's the exploded parts. There's the, the outer shell and there's the interior. This is what threads into the pipe at the top. And this little ball here is where the water comes out. I see that I didn't even know I had a slightly uh, water uh, restricting nozzle inside, which keeps it from actually being too hard when you're in a good water uh, conserving uh, shower mode. And uh, then the actual inside piece of plastic that's got the uh, threads and, and all these grooves in it. So you put all that together and you've got the Waltec 10C shower nozzle. Now I've looked a few times over the years for more shower nozzles like this. I bought actually a second one for the other shower uh, when I first discovered how good they were. But I've never ever seen anything like it since. It's, uh, Sorry about my shaky hands, I'm 60 now. Uh, if it didn't exist, if it doesn't exist and it isn't on sale anymore, it's something that needs to be reinvented. Especially in this day and age when many 
jurisdictions are either raising water prices or actually have uh, more or less uh, mild to severe water shortages. Now you probably think that I uh, put the plug in the bathtub and saved that water just to demonstrate the shower nozzle, but actually I always save the water to flush the toilet with. The trick here is to pour fast and then the toilet flushes down with uh, well, this is a water-conserving toilet anyway. It only takes about five liters to flush it.